What's up everybody, Unrested back again, and after making my video yesterday that talked about some of the political things that go on here in Japan and some of the political problems we're facing right now, I got a lot of questions from people about what are a lot of the Japanese people that you work with and interact with daily, what are their political views, and honestly for the most part I can say that uh, most Japanese people that I know, that I'm in contact with, are for the most part apathetic about a lot of the politics that go on in Japan. And it's not so much that they don't care, it's that they don't feel they have a lot of power to change anything. And that's unfortunately very true due to the fact that they don't even elect their own prime minister. What they do is they get a chance to vote for party members that are part of the party that the Prime Minister is connected to, and then in turn, those House members elect their Prime Minister. This of course leads to no actual first-hand voting of their actual Prime Minister. Alas, they don't have a lot of value for the actual voting process that goes into uh, their Prime Minister's election. And this leads to a lot of apathy, and to be quite honest, I can uh, sympathize with the Japanese with this. I really don't see how this allows them to have any kind of empathy or compassion for who's leading their country. And the other big reason is because recently, if you follow anything in Japanese news, you'll know that we've constantly had the Prime Minister change. Over the past two years, I think we've gone through something like six Prime Ministers. Unfortunately, the biggest problem now we have is that a lot of prime ministers try to step up to the job, but once they get there and realize all the problems that they have to face, they put their tail between their legs and run. Um, this happened with uh, all, all the past prime ministers who've pretty much uh, been elected in the last two years. Once elected, they make all kinds of promises, they get into office, and then big surprise, they don't follow through with any of them. One of the biggest ones was the Okinawa promise where one, I can't remember his name offhand right now, one prime minister made the promise that he would move the military base out of Okinawa before his term was over and did pretty much nothing. Uh, didn't come anywhere close to moving the military base out of there. Now, my personal belief on that subject is moot because I'm not an actual citizen of Japan. I'm not Japanese national. I don't have a Japanese passport. So it can be great if I had an opinion, but it wouldn't matter. So it's not something that I'm going to bring up on this g -Fed. Maybe I'll we'll save that for another one. Nonetheless, that's an outlook on Japanese view on political matters. Sadly apathetic, but understandably so, due to the fact that they have no control of their own prime minister within the last two years of which have been cowards who pretty much stuck their tail between their legs and run.